Toy Transformations. This is Shell, and today I have a mystical under the sea adventure for you. We're gonna transform three super cute LOL dolls into Zack, Mimi, and Dandina from the exciting Netflix show Mako Mermaid. They're gonna be super shiny and super easy to make, so stick with me till the end. Let's begin by making the super lovely Mimi. We'll do the hair first. So grab your LOL doll's head and cover it with air dry clay. This is the hair that she always wears on the show. So once you get the shape right, start adding some texture with a modeling tool. And then paint it on with a nice shade of dark brown. Time to make her hair do prettier! Use a fan brush and dip it into some golden glitter acrylic paint. Then tap gently all along the hair. Time to transform this simple doll into a miraculous mermaid by giving it the most important feature, a tail! Mold a big chunk of hair directly around its body. How neat! The tail should start right under the belly button, and on the other end, you have to add a smaller chunk of clay and give it this exact triangular shape. Once the fin looks like this, grab your modeling tool and press it lightly, marking down short straight lines like so. Now, grab a tiny cup like this one. We need it to have a tiny circular shape to give our awesome mermaid tail some texture. Press slightly, and it should look just like this. Our doll looks amazing, guys! The shape is ready, so now pick a super cool shiny golden glitter acrylic paint and cover the tail without leaving a spot unpainted. It looks super cool! Next, we're making the bikini top! Grab a small chunk of fair dry clay and put it on your doll's chest. Give it a triangular shape and some straps using a modeling tool. I absolutely love it! Then, paint it all with some of the same acrylic paint you use for the tail. How neat! Now, grab a sponge, dip it into a little bit of shimmery orange acrylic paint, and then give everything a pearly and shiny finish. How neat! Keep tapping it gently and use some yellow shimmery paint for the bottom part. Now we'll apply a pink pearly finish like this. Grab a different sponge to make sure the colors don't mix. Apply a little bit on the sides too. I absolutely love it! And now, to add some more details, use a modeling tool or a toothpick to draw bubblegum pink straight lines on the fin. Since the bikini top is so small, we're using a cotton swab to make the details, applying some more of the shimmery orange first. The final thing her body needs is some more gold and shine! So, grab a fan brush covered in golden glitter and tap gently. Now that she has her head back on, we can paint her cute eyebrows with the same shade of brown we use for her hair. Then let's give her Mimi eyes. Paint them very carefully without covering the pupils. For the final touch, we'll apply a coat of clear nail polish and she will be ready. Here we have Mimi! As you guys should know, mocha mermaids have got amazing powers. My favorite one that Mimi has is her telekinesis. What's yours? Tell me in the comments below! Now, Let's move on to our next transformation on Dina, Mimi's BFF. We'll begin by covering our cute LOL doll's head with some hair dry clay, trying to replicate her hairdo. Once you get the length right, you can start adding some texture with your modeling tool like we're doing here. Our doll looks amazing, guys! Then, time to cover her hair entirely with sugar cookie yellow acrylic paint. To make her glow, grab some more of the astonishing golden glitter and apply it all over the hair with a fan brush. Time to transform this simple doll into a miraculous mermaid by giving it the most important feature, a tail. Mold a big chunk of hair directly around its body. I absolutely love it! Give the bottom part a twist so it looks like she's flipping her tail. 
Once the fin looks like this, grab your modeling tool and press it lightly, marking down short, straight lines like so. Now grab a tiny cup like this one. We need it to have a circular shape to give our awesome mermaid tail some texture. Press lightly and it should look just like this. The shape is ready, so now pick a super cool shiny golden glitter acrylic paint and cover the tail without leaving a single spot unpainted. Next, we're making the bikini top. Grab a small chunk of feather clay and put it on your doll's chest. Give it a triangular shape and then some straps using a modeling tool. How neat! Then paint it all with some of the same acrylic paint you use for the tail. Now grab a sponge and dip it into a little bit of shimmery orange acrylic paint. This will give it a pearly and shiny finish. Cover the thing with some pearly yellow and then add a cute shade of pearly bubblegum pink to the edges. Now to finish the details of the fin, add a few straight lines with some more of the bubblegum pink. To finish up this glowing mermaid, dip your fan brush into some golden glitter and cover her tail and her top with it. Our doll looks amazing, guys! She already has blue eyes, but we're still covering them in a slightly different shade, giving it a grayish effect, so it looks just like in the show. And finally, we're adding a coat of clear nail polish. Come with me to take a closer look! Look at her just chilling next to a rock! Did you know that one of her powers is hydrothermokinesis? What would you do with that power? Tell me in the comments, guys! Time for our last transformation of the day! Zack! Mimi's brother! He's got much shorter hair than our other dolls, so let's make it with some dry clay! Once you're happy with this shape, make his hair wavy by using the tiny circular cap again! How neat! Then, cover it completely with some jet black acrylic paint. We'll make a mermaid tail once again. Well, since sucks a boy, this is actually a merman tail. Use a big chunk of her clay and cover his body all the way to his feet. Then make a twirl and add the fin. Give it a nice triangular shape. Which one is your favorite mermaid from all times? I really love Ariel! Next, start adding the details of the tail with a modeling tool. Press down like this on the edge. Then again, grab your circular cap and press it all over the tail to give it a neat texture. It looks super cool! This time we'll cover it completely with an awesome royal blue acrylic paint. Next, add a ton of glitter glue to the tail. Spread it all with a brush. Then, to make Zack super glowy, use a sponge and dip it into some white pearly acrylic paint. Tap it gently on the edge and on the sides. I absolutely love it! Then, use some of the same acrylic paint to draw a few straight lines on his fin. We accidentally stained our doll with some acrylic paint. So we'll paint it all with this peach acrylic paint. What other mermaid shows do you watch, guys? Tell me in the comments below. For the final touch, add a coat of clear nail polish and he will be ready. Here you have him, guys! Did you know that since Zack and Mimi are siblings, they can share vision? Would you like to share that power with your sibling? Tell me in the comments below! And that was it for our mermaid adventure of the day, guys! Here we have our amazing characters from Mako Mermaid! First, we have Zack, next to his sister Mimi, and next to her is her best friend, Andina. Which transformation did you like best? Tell me in the comments below! If you enjoyed this video, give us a like! Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell for more fantastic transformations! Don't forget that we love you so much! Bye-bye!